examples in this video we will see uh, plant kingdom part 2 that is starts with the bryophytes first about its habitats habitat of bryophytes includes damp humid and shaded localities they are commonly found in moist shaded areas in the hills then second point is about the plant body the plant body is more differentiated more differentiated in the sense it is more differentiated than that of algae then it is thallus like and prostrate or erect attached to the substratum by rhizoids this rhizoids can be either unicellular or multicellular unicellular rhizoids are seen in liverworts and multicellular rhizoids are seen in mosses main plant body is uh, gametophyte and why it is known as gametophyte because it produces gametes and remember it is haploid so the main plant body is haploid and it is known as gametophyte next about sex organs in bryophytes sex organs in bryophytes are multicellular jacketed sex organs appear for the first time in bryophytes then main sex organ is known as antheridium this antheridium produces biflagellated male gametes known as anthrozoites female sex organ is known as archegonium archegonium it is a primitive sex organ that is why the name given archegonium it is flask shaped and it produces single egg then fertilization fertilization takes place inside archegonium inside archegonium that means it is internal fertilization in algae fertilization takes place in water that is external fertilization internal fertilization is seen in bryophytes here male gametes that is anthrozoites are released into water released into water doesn't mean uh, they require a water body moisture content is enough and this male gametes move towards they are flagellated they move towards uh, archegonium and enters into the archegonium then development after fertilization the diploid zygote do not undergo meiosis in algae zygote undergoes meiosis here zygote undergoes mitosis and produces a multicellular plant body called a sporophyte which is diploid this multicellular plant body is a sporophyte which is diploid then this sporophyte is not free living sporophyte is not free living it is um attached on the gametophyte so if we assume this one as gametophyte the sporophyte would be attached on gametophyte like this this is the sporophytic plant body and sporophytic plant body is differentiated into three food seta capsule this part is known as food and this portion is known as capsule in between here it is seta within the capsule meiosis takes place during spore formation and the spores are released into the soil spores see it takes place spore formation takes place through meiosis that means the resultant product is a haploid this haploid spore develops to form a free living gametophyte next about classification of bryophytes bryophytes are classified into two that is liverworts and mosses liverworts example mercantia mosses example finaria polytrichum and sphagnum liverworts in detail liverworts the plant body is thalloid the thallus is dorsi ventral and closely oppressed to the substrate and here but specific points are asexual reproduction occurs through fragmentation or through gemme gemme are uh, specialized asexual buds produced by liverworts it's green and multicellular so gemme are green multicellular asexual buds produced by liverworts and this gemme are produced inside uh, specialized receptacles called gemma cup gemme are produced inside gemma cup then regarding sexual reproduction male and female sex organs are either are produced on the same 
talus or on different talus. Then antheridiophore and archegoniophore. These two are present in uh, Marchensia. A liver word named Marchensia. Antheridiophore. The labeling is given in NCRD. Antheridiophore is the stock bearing antheridia. Archegoniophore is the stock bearing archegonium. So both are present in Marchensia. About Moses in detail. In Moses, one speciality is the gametophyte consists of two stages. The two stages are a protonema stage and a leafy stage. Protonema stage is the first stage. That is, uh, spores released from the capsule. Haploid spores. On direct germination, it gives rise to a protonema. This is a creeping, uh, frequently filamentous stage, which looks like a green algae. That is protonema. That is the first stage um, in the gametophyte of mosses. Then, from this protonema, secondary buds, lateral buds formed in the protonema develops to form the next stage known as leafy stage. So, lateral buds formed in the protonema develops to form the leafy stage. Leafy stage is upright, it is erect. It's having spirally arranged leaves and uh, the six organs, antheridium and archegonium are present in this leafy stage. Uh, these are the two stages, protonema stage and leafy stage. The next point regarding vegetative reproduction. Vegetative reproduction occurs through a fragmentation and budding in the protonema. Fragmentation and budding in the protonema. Remember, protonema is totally asexual because it has no sex organs. Sex organs are present only in leafy stage. Then, next point is about the sporophyte of Moses. Compared to the sporophyte of liverworts, sporophyte of Moses um, is more elaborate. We can say that it is more elaborate. Then, it is having an elaborate mechanism of spore dispersion. Bryophytes are also known as amphibians of the plant kingdom because they live in soil but they require water for fertilization. Bryophyte in detail. First about their habitat. Pterodophytes are usually found in cool, damp and shady places. Though some pterodophytes may flourish well in sandy soil conditions. Next about the plant body. Plant body of pterodophyte is sporophyte. That is the main plant body is sporophyte. In the two previous groups, that is algae and bryophytes, gametophyte is the dominant plant body. But here, for the first time in the evolution of plants, sporophyte becomes the dominant plant body. And the sporophyte is well differentiated into a true root, true stem and true leaf. And all of these organs possess vascular tissues. Since they possess vascular tissue, pterodophytes are also known as vascular cryptogams. Then, the leaves in pterodophytes can be either small or large. Small leaves are known as microfilms, seen in Selaginella. Large leaves are known as macrophilms, seen in ferns. Then, spore producing structure. Spores are produced inside sporangia. Within sporangia, spore formation occurs through meiosis. And the sporangia bearing leaves are known as sporophyll. And in some pterodophytes, Remember, it's not a general character. In some pterodophytes, sporophyll form compact structures known as strobili or corn. Pterodophytes that possess strobili or corn. Example, Equisetum and Salaginella. Next about Prothalus. Spores on germination gives rise to Prothalus. A haploid Prothalus. That is the gametophyte. The gametophyte of pterodophyte is known as Prothalus. The Prothalus is a very small Inconspicuous, multicellular, free living, and mostly photosynthetic structure. And it requires cool, damp, and shady places to grow. Because of this specific requirement and the need for water for fertilization, their distribution is restricted to narrow geographical regions. And since it is gametophyte, gametophyte means gamete producing, it has sex organs, multicellular sex organs. That is male sex organ antheridium, female sex organ archegonium. 
fertilization takes place inside archegonium after fertilization zygote develops to form a well differentiated sporophyte zygote undergoes mitosis to form a well differentiated sporophyte homospore and heterospore homosporous homosporous means all the spores are of same kind majority of the pteridophytes are homosporous but few are heterosporous heterosporous means spores are dissimilar they produce two types of spores that is a small uh, microspore and a large megaspore microspores develops to form male gametophyte megaspores develops to form female gametophyte in homosporous spore that gives rise to gametophyte that's all but here the two types of spores microspore gives rise to male gametophyte having only male sex organ that is antheridium megaspores gives rise to female gametophyte having only female sex organ that is archegonium then heterosporous pteridophytes example salazinella and salvinia in this heterosporous pteridophytes a female gametophyte is retained on the main plant body that is sporophyte female gametophyte is retained on the sporophyte where fertilization and development of zygote takes place this event is a precursor to seed habit so see the origin of seed habit can be traced in pteridophyte next about classification of pteridophytes pteridophytes are grouped into four classes the four classes of pteridophytes are xylopsida lycopsida sphenopsida and pteropsida xylopsida example xylotum lycopsida example salazinella lycopodium sphenopsida example ecusetum pteropsida pteropsida all ferns belongs to this class example pteris dryopteris and adianthera for the uses of pteridophytes they are used as medicinal plants for example some species of adianthera are used in the treatment of chest pain and they are used as soil binders and they have ornamental value also for example uh, some ferns like nephrolepis is used as landscape plants that's all about plant kingdom part 2 if you like this video please like and subscribe if you have any doubt regarding this portion please comment below thank you